Some of you may like to draw on a tablet or a computer. If you're on a tablet with a touch screen, you can draw with your fingers. If you're on the computer or tablet, you can also use a pen, like a bamboo pen, an apple pen, any kind of pen or stylus. This one I actually drew with my finger. I drew it in a simple drawing program. You can use any drawing program. There's a lot of great ones. I'll list some in the description of the video. So today I want to show you how to draw fur using your tablet or computer, any kind of digital art. Whatever program you're using, You'll probably find different functions like a paint bucket, a spray can, a pencil and a brush, and maybe even some shapes. Today we're just going to use the paint bucket and spray can to make a quick and easy painting using the examples I showed you before, but make it a little bit simpler. First, we need a background. For our picture and I think a blue sky with white clouds in it. And uh, maybe some green grass would be nice. When I make clouds I like to make little circles and bring them all together. It kind of looks like a big pile of cotton balls. It's fun, and I think it's pretty easy. For the ground, I can pick a green color, maybe a little bit darker green. And I can just uh, fill it on top of the blue. Now I'm ready for a little animal in the center. I'm thinking a cute little fox. So I'll use orange or red or gray for the fox is usually a good color, or you can make a purple fox. I'm going to use a little bit smaller brush to outline the shape of my fox. the other colors. So for the shape of my fox, two triangles for the ears and a U-shape for the bottom of the head is pretty good. Then I can put in some simple legs. And a little tail. So this is uh, the base of the fox. And I can color it in, maybe with a little bit bigger brush, by making an M shape in the middle and a triangle shape inside the ears, leaving those blank for different colors. But if you color it all in, that's okay, because you can just color over it. As you can see, I'm coloring over the grass. So here I have my orange color is pretty much finished, and I can add white colors too. To do digital painting, that is painting on a tablet or computer, you need to usually work from back to front. So here I started with the background sky, then I did the clouds and grass, and last, I'm doing the character. This makes it a little bit easier. 
instead of going back and forth. You can add a little nose and with a little bit smaller brush, some happy eyes. To make it look a little more furry, we'll need to add some different colors. How about a little yellow? If we add in a little bit of yellow, we can get a highlight color, but we will need to blend it in. So hopefully you have a blending tool you can use. If you don't, there's other ways to blend, and I can show you that later. You can pick the size of your brush according to how much fur you want and how detailed you want it to be. You can use a smaller brush to add in details or cover up things you want to have. I can sharpen the edges of my eyes here by adding white on top. I can use the brush or the blur tool to do the edges of the furry part of her face. And I can do the same thing and add in some more fur to the inside of the ears. So that's with the spray paint tool. And I can use a blur or blend tool to blend that out even more. Try adding some medium colors. You have a light yellow and a dark orange. Try adding some medium colors, like a yellow orange in between, and then dark colors under the chin and other dark places. And remember, you can always use the undo button. Just continue blending and adding different colors. If you want to add a little shading to the white, you can use a light gray. If you want to add some more colors to the fur, keep using those warm colors. And you can make sure to Blend them in. Pretty soon you'll have a furry, cute little animal. And then you could add more, maybe a tree, a little den, a little toy for your animal to play with. but just keep adding colors, keep blending, and you'll get that look of fur. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.